Good morning, good morning, Jumping Run Church, body Hallelujah. of the Christ. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Let, let us bow for prayer this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you humbly as we know how. Thanking you for keeping us, Father God, keeping us alive, Lord. Clothing our right minds and bodies, activity of our limbs, Lord. Bless this service this morning, Lord. We ask you to bless and anoint this service, Lord. Make preaching and teaching easy for Bishop Lawson on this morning, Father God. Touch somebody out there who's hurting, somebody who needs a touch from God, somebody who's hurting on the inside. Fill them, fill that void this morning in Jesus' name. We ask you to bless this service. We bind the hand of the enemy. Take authority over anything that will come against this service. Not only do we cast it far the east from the west, but into the depths of the sea. Bless this service, and we count it blessed. And it's in Jesus' name. Everybody says amen. amen. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, if you've been redeemed, then say so. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be. Help me say, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name.
Everybody on the praise him, praise him, praise him, oh praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, Jesus, Jesus, blessed Savior, you're worthy to be praised. Come on, lift him up. Everybody on him. Praise him. Lift your voice and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. That's what we came to do. Praise him. Now call his name Jesus. Jesus. Bless his Savior. From the rising of the sun, yeah. From the rising of the sun. Until the going Until the down of the sand. I know that he's worthy. Yes, he he's is. Worthy. Anybody today Jesus know that Jesus is, is worthy? Worthy. He's worthy. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus is. Worthy. Oh, he's worthy too. Jesus. 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 I can call him when I need him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 you need him, Jesus, you can call on him, Jesus, he'll make it all right, yes he will, Jesus, Jesus will make it all right, Jesus, Somebody call on his name. Jesus. Somebody call on his 
God bless you, brothers and sisters. We greet you on this Sunday after Christmas. We believe and trust and hope that your holiday has been a blessed one and you are enjoying the liberties of Jesus Christ. Well, let's get into the word for this day. I want you to call your attention to Philippians chapter 4, verse 10. Very familiar text, Philippians chapter 4 verse 10. I hope you get your Bible and look with us as we delve into the scriptures. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 10. I want to talk to you today from the subject I can do it through Jesus Christ. I can do it through Jesus Christ. Won't you say the subject with me? Say I can do it through Jesus Christ. Philippians 4 and 10, it says, But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein you were also careful, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned and that word learned is very important. That phrase is important. I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased. I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed. That's important. I am instructed. Both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Again, I want to talk from the subject, I can do it through Christ. I can do it through Jesus Christ. Now, we're about to go into a new year. We're about to go into the year 2021. And you and I, we have absolutely no idea about what's going to happen in 2021. Let's just be upfront with it. We don't really know what's going to, we can speculate, but we don't really know what's going to happen in 2021. If you don't believe that, just think about 2020. Think about 2020. We could have never imagined the things that have happened during 2020. I mean, a global pandemic, uh, wildfires in the United States of America, a record number of hurricanes, more hurricanes happened this year than's ever happened before, political upheaval and confusion in the United States and worldwide like we have never seen before. We had no idea of the troubles and trials that would face us in 2020. But guess what? Out of all that happened in 2020, you made it. I made it. We are all still here 
and we all are still standing by the grace of God. Now I'm going to tell you how you made it. I'm going to tell you how we made it through the trials and tribulations that's been going on. We made it because Christ strengthened us. That's how we made it. We weren't lucky. We weren't slick. We weren't sagacious. We made it because Christ actually strengthened each one of us. Now, this text is so instructive. And so I want to take this passage a lot of times, especially verse 13, which is taken out of context. And I want to put it in context because in this text, the Apostle Paul is in prison and he's writing this letter to the saints in Philippi who were very concerned about him. They were so concerned about him that they sent him uh, things uh, to help him in his time of need. So let's put it in context. Paul is in prison in this, in this text. He's in prison. And I'm going to read verse, a few verses from the Living Bible because the King James is a little hard to understand when we read some of the King James English. Listen to verse 10, Philippians 4 and 10. This is the Living Translation. How grateful I am and how I praise the Lord that you are helping me again. I know you have always been anxious to send what you could, but for a while you didn't have the chance. Paul then says, as he goes on, that no matter what has happened to him, and a lot of things happened to Paul. He's been, you read in some of his other letters, he's been shipwrecked. He's been beaten many times, even left for dead. Uh, he's been in all kinds of perils or dangers, dangers in the ocean, dangers of religious folk who were trying to get rid of him. And now he's in prison and he writes to these people at Philippi. He says, he says, no matter what life has thrown at me and all these things been thrown at him. Keep it now in context. Now he's in prison. He said, no matter what's been thrown at me. I have learned, he said, to be content. He said, I've learned to be content. Verse 11 goes on to say, not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to get along happily, whether I have much or little. Verse 12, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of contentment in every situation whether it be a full stomach or hunger, plenty or want. Now let's get some instruction out of this because you see in 2021, we really don't know what is going to happen. In 2021, we really don't know what's going to happen. In 2021, we really don't know what state we are going to actually be in. And by state, I mean what condition. We don't know what condition we're going to be. We don't know what the conditions around us are going to be. There could be times of plenty. There could be times of want. There could be times of stress. There could be times of ease. There could be all kinds of situations that might face us in 2021 because we didn't know what was going to happen in 2020. But then Paul gives the key. Now, this is written by a man in jail and has gone through all kinds of sufferings for the cause of Christ. But then Paul in jail gives us the key to making it to overcoming no matter what comes or goes. And see, we've got to go into this new year with this kind of attitude that we can make it no matter what comes or no matter what goes. Here's the key. Philippians 4 and 13. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. He says, does it make a difference what kind of state I'm in, what kind of state I'm going to even be in. I can do this. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Now, I, I want to read verse 13 from the Amplified Version. Verse 13 says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I'm ready for anything and equal to anything through him which 
who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Listen to that again. He says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I'm ready. Listen to Paul. He's in prison now. He's been through a lot. I'm ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. So you got to go into this new year, 2021. We got to go into this new year with a I can attitude and a I can determination. No matter what 2021 throws, I can do it. I can do it. Do what? Do whatever it takes. Do whatever 2021 demands. I can. See, see, the word can't is one of the worst words that's ever been spoken or written. Can't means I cannot. The word can't says when you say can't, you're saying I'm already defeated. The word can't says not only am I already defeated, but I'm not even going to really try. So we got to go into 2021 with the determination that whatever the new year holds for me, I can do it. What do you mean do it? I can overcome it. I can go through it. I can conquer it no matter what it holds, no matter what it brings uh, through Christ that gives me the strength. And this word content is powerful. And again, we got to look at it in the context, in the text. The word content here actually uh, from the Greek means I'm self-sufficient. That's what the word content means. And that's why the Bible is a book you got to read with understanding. That's why you have to go sometime and get your concordance and, and, and you really got to get into the words because this word, this word content means self-sufficient. Or what does it mean self-sufficient? It doesn't mean that Paul doesn't need Jesus or he doesn't need anybody or anything like that. What, what he's saying is, and this self-sufficiency means I am totally detached from the circumstance. I'm totally detached from the circumstance. Now think about Paul. Let's look at the context. Paul is in prison. Then he says, I'm content. I'm totally detached from this circumstance. Now, I'm not going to act like that's easy. You know, the just have to live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. I'm not going to act like that's easy uh, to always detach yourself from your circumstance. But that's what we got to learn how to do. And that's why Paul says in verse 11, I have learned. I have learned. You know one way you can detach yourself from circumstances that's going on? When you go through the circumstance, so you go through the situation, and you find out the situation couldn't really stop you. So what you actually did through the situation is you have learned that through Christ, you can do it. By do it, I mean you can overcome it. You can conquer it through Christ. Let me ask you a question. We talk, think about learn. What have you learned? What have you actually learned in 2020? What have you learned? All this stuff we've been through, as I said, in this in this country, in this area, you should have learned. One thing you should have learned is that in whatever state you find yourself, God will give you strength to go through it. God will give you strength to overcome it. So whatever comes your way, God is going to give you the strength to overcome it and the strength to go through it. You see, my brothers and my sisters, in the various circumstances of life, uh, you have to learn to detach yourself from the situation and attach yourself to he who is in you. Let me say it again. In the various situations of life, you have to learn how to detach yourself. I know it's tough while you're going through it, but you got to learn how to detach yourself from the situation and attach yourself to he who is in you because Christ is in you. So then life then becomes a classroom. See, some things you've been through have really been to instruct you. That's why Paul said, I, have, I am instructed. He didn't mean that somebody taught him. He mean he learned from the Holy Ghost while he was going through these things. He learned the lesson that no matter what the situation is, Christ in me is greater than that situation. I've learned and been instructed through going through situations and circumstances 
that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I have learned through going through situations and I've been instructed by my circumstances that God never leaves me. He never fails me. I have learned that I am more than a conqueror. I'm, I've learned that if God be for me, who in the world can be against me or what can be against me? So therefore, as I face 2021, when I don't know what's going to happen in 2021, as I face 2021, I, I can face it with boldness and confidence and I can say I can do it. What's it? Whatever it is, I can do it. What do you mean by do it? It means overcome it. The kids have a little, the young people, I won't say kids have a saying, they say, so like, they say stuff like, I'm getting ready to do you now. And do you means I'm getting ready to do something to you. I'm getting ready to take care of you. I'm getting ready to overcome you. I'm getting ready to beat you up. So when we say we can do 2021, it means that no matter what it throws our way, we can overcome it. We can go through it. We can be conquerors over it. We can have the victory. I hope you hear me. And this is the kind of determination you got to have. You got to face 2021 with boldness and confidence. Boldness and confidence. Here's why the Bible says something powerful in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. You don't have to turn there. I'm just going to quote it. Hebrews in 13, Hebrews 13 and 5 says, let your conversation be without covetedness and be content, detached from situations, with such things that you have, for he have said. See, you got to get back to what he has said, not the situation, not the circumstance. You got to concentrate on what he has said. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So therefore, we got to go into 2021 with a bold confidence. I got some confessions. I want you to say it with me. Say it with me. Say it with me. Say, repeat this after me. Say, through Christ, I did 2020. Through Christ. Say it again. I did 2020. And through Christ, I'm going to do 2021. Come on, say it. Through Christ, I'm going to do 2021. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Just like Paul said, he said, look, I'm glad you, I'm glad you sent me aid, but if you hadn't, I, I would have been okay. And he wasn't bragging, he wasn't boasting, he was just saying that he, he has learned how to have and how to have not. He's learned how to be full, he's learned how to do when he's hungry. See, so he says, say it with me, say, I'm self-sufficient, I'm self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Repeat after me, say, I have strength in Christ." For all things, because he empowers me. Repeat after me, I'm ready for anything. I'm equal to anything. Christ, repeat after me, Christ infuses me with inner strength. I can, say it again, I can, say it again, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's right. You got to say those kind of things. You got to affirm them. See, because Christ is in you. Christ is the anointed one. The anointing will destroy yokes and remove burdens. I don't care what comes. Christ, the anointed one, is in you. Christ is in you and Christ in you is more than anything that can come against you in 2021. So this is the kind of determination we got to go into this 2021 with. So that's why Paul said to the church at Ephesus, said, be strong in the Lord, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Colossians uh, 1 and 11 says we must we got to be strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. And I'm going to tell you what the text says. Literally, the text says literally, this is what it says. Literally, verse 13 says, I have strength for all things in him who gives me power. I have strength for all things in him who gives me power. And see, you're a witness. And I say it a lot of times in the church. A lot of times I say, you know, your greatest testimony is the fact that you're still here. And we take that for granted. But see, think about the things you've been through. And it's like the old song says, your soul looks back and wonder how you got over. How did I go through that? How did I make it through that? Because Christ was, was carrying you. Because your very life is in his hand because he calls you 
to triumph. He gave you the power that you needed to win over the situation. That's why Jesus says, he says, you know, in the world you're going to have tribulation. He said, but be of good cheer. He said, I have overcome it. And what one translation says, I've not only overcome it, but you know, I've given you the power because the overcomer is in you. Out of all Jesus overcame, that same power is in you. If the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies through his spirit. And so we got to understand that Christ conquered the grave. And that's the greatest, that's the greatest enemy. Death is the greatest enemy. And if he conquered death, the one who conquered the very grave himself is in you. So as you go through 2021, you got to always say, I can do this. Don't let the enemy trick you and say, I just can't. And you know, people like to say, I can't, I can't, I can't. You got to watch your confession. You got to watch what you're saying. You start saying, I can. And if, you know, if there's a situation, a circumstance that you don't like or is coming up, don't just go around going with cliches and say, I, I just can't, child. No, listen, say you can't. Say, stop saying that. Say, I can do it. So that's how we got to face it. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it through Christ. And that's the attitude we got to go through this 2020 with, with a I can do it attitude. I can do this. I can do this. And when you come up against a difficulty, know you're not coming up against it by yourself. The overcomer's in you. So you say, I can, I can. The situation may be screaming. Detach yourself from the situation and attach yourself to the one that's in you. Detach yourself from the circumstance and attach yourself to the greater one who is in you. I'm going to close with the words of a song. I, 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 the Lord brought a song back to my remembrance. Uh, it's by Kurt Franklin. And this is, the, this, is the, this is one of the verses in the song. And I want to give this to you as we go into this new year, 2021. This is the last Sunday right here in 2020. And it's gone, thank God. But, but again, we don't know what 2021 holds. But guess what? We can do it. We can do this. We can do it. We can do it through Christ. But this is what the song says, and I'm just going to read it to you. It says, you don't have to worry, and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last always. For there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. Brothers and sisters, we can do this and we're going to do it. We're going to do 2021 and we're going to come out with our hands lifted in victory giving praise to the most high God. By your head, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we commit ourselves and our lives to your hands. And we pray, God, you will continue to infuse us with inner strength, supernatural power, strengthen us with all might by your spirit in our inner man and take us on from victory to victory. I pray for the people of Jump and Run. I pray for those who are listening and watching this by way of internet. Open our eyes that we can see Christ in us and know that we have the, the spirit of I can and we're going to be victorious in 2021 no matter what comes. We don't know what's coming but you do and we commit our life to your hands and we pray you keep us and protect us and keep us from all that is evil. This is my prayer. For all listening in Jesus name. Won't you say amen to that prayer? God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. There's information on the screen. If you'd like to send a donation to the Jump and Run Church, there's information how you can do that. And to our members, we miss you. And prayerfully, the Lord will bless us with some warm Sundays 
in the month of January and February so we can at least come together and see each other in the parking lot from car to car. We're believing God that we're going to be back in this sanctuary. We're believing God in early June. Touch and agree with me. And I mean in here safe. We believe that in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon and may you have a prosperous and blessed new year. I speak Love, peace, and increase to all of you. In Jesus' name, won't you say amen? God bless.